Good day to all my dear friends. Welcome back to another episode on my channel. Today's recipe is from South Indian cuisine. We are going to make a side dish called puriyal using the drumstick leaves or moringa leaves and potatoes. You can make this puriyal also just with uh, drumstick leaves. You can add a lot of coconut to it. It tastes amazingly delicious. It pairs well with sambar rice as a side dish. So many other dishes also can be made with these leaves. I have already made lots of them and I'll share all those links like you, you can add them to the soups, you can add them to dal, dosa batter, make parathas with them, make a chutney. So all these links I'll share, you can have a look at them also. So do give it a try whenever you find these leaves, make some dishes. So today let's proceed to make puriyal with moringa leaves and potatoes. Here are the ingredients for the puriyal. I've taken three medium sized potatoes, peel them, cut them into small pieces and immerse them in salt water. Grated coconut, two to three tablespoons. Drumstick leaves, one cup. Separate them very well. Remove all the stalks. Oil, four to five tablespoons. And for tempering ingredients, we have urad dal, one teaspoon, mustard seeds, one teaspoon, red chilies, two, curry leaves, few and hing or asafoetida 1 8 teaspoon salt to taste turmeric powder quarter teaspoon sambar powder or rasam powder 1 tablespoon you could also use any kind of podi instead or simple basic spice powders as well for a variation you can try out anything garlic 8 cloves ginger 1 small piece and green chilies 2 or 3 you can check out the ingredients list in the description box as well now let's proceed heat up about four to five tablespoons of oil we are going to fry the potatoes remove the water and dip in the potatoes into the hot oil alternately you could also make this puriyal with boiled potatoes which is a healthier version of course because there's less oil going into it but these fried potatoes give it a nice texture because they remain firm and crispy. Keep turning them in between and let them cook until they are done. Insert a knife to check. Once they are done, you can remove them in a plate. Now in the same oil, we are going to add the chopped garlic and grated ginger first. Stir them until they change the color. Now you can add the green chilies. Chop them finely. And the quantity also depends if you like it spicier, you can add more. Now time to add the drumstick leaves. Wash them very well, changing water several times to remove all the dust particles stuck on them. Saute them a bit. Now spread them in the pan so that they get cooked evenly. You can cover the pan and cook over medium flame. After about a minute or so, open the lid and give it a stir. At this stage you can see they are half done. Add little salt. Give it a nice mix. Now we can add the potatoes, the fried potatoes. Mix them together. Add the seasoning which is sambar powder and turmeric powder 
as i mentioned earlier you can use anything of you like even normal basic spices also will do like coriander powder cumin powder now once you have mixed it very well masalas have coated on the potatoes cook it for 1 minute on low flame finally you can add the grated coconut this is added in the end now give it a mix porial is ready now we are going to add the tempering to it alternately you could even add the tempering ingredients in the beginning while you are cooking the drumstick leaves take a small pan tadka pan and heat little oil about 1 tablespoon once the oil is hot add the tempering ingredients which are mustard seeds urad dal curry leaves red chilies and hing asafoetida toss them and cook them on low flame so that they don't get burnt but they get roasted very well once you see the urad dal changing its color it's ready mix them into the prepared porial stir gently to mix everything and your delicious porial is ready potato and drumstick leaves porial it makes a great side dish with sambar rice do give it a try if you find some drumstick leaves any time this porial also can be made just with the leaves without the addition of any vegetable to it simple comforting meal friends if you are enjoying my recipes do share the videos with your friends too and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so thank you Here are some videos from the archives as well do check them out and i shall be back with another interesting recipe soon take care